And we're back another week for some celebrity gossip from UHN Urban Houston Network 43.5 with your girl Shay, a.k.a. your Christian diva, sometimes better known as <laughs> your motivational mouthpiece with some gossip, honey. Yeah, you heard right. I said some gossip. Listen, y'all know we all likes to know the tea. Y'all know we all likes to know what's going on. So I want you, yeah, you, touch your neighbor and say you, to keep your big ears to the street and let's find out this good gossip meat. Here it goes. On this week, the world is sadly mourning the loss of Mr. James Ingram. Grammy-winning soul singer has died at age 66. Ingram's baritone voice dominated the charts throughout the 1980s and early 1990s. Now, Ingram, the Ohio-born and R&B singer whose soulful baritone voice dominated the charts throughout the 1980s and early 1990s, died again suffering from brain cancer our thoughts and our prayers goes out to the family for this lost empire star jesse smollett attacked in a possible hate crime now the empire actor jesse smollett was attacked in the early morning hours on tuesday what police Chicago police are calling a possible hate crime. Now, Jesse was attacked by two people who were yelling racial homophobic slurs to him and poured an unknown chemical substance on the victim, police said. One of Jesse's alleged attackers also put a rope around his neck. According to police, both fled the scene. Now, Jesse took himself to the Northwestern Hospital and is in good condition. Now, police are asking him to surrender over his phone and the phone records because he said he was on the phone his manager when it took place. As of now, Jesse has not surrendered those records, but he said he is working with police and will give over his records. I don't know about giving over my phone. I don't know why they can take the records, but I don't know why they would need the phone. But of course, I'm not the police. But anyway, we're going to pray that this um, that they can investigate this and these people will be brought to justice. Now, here we have it again this week in the tabloids on YouTube, on social media, everywhere. Everybody is talking about Pastor John and Aventure Gray. Now, listen, I am still Team Gray no matter what. I ain't seen nothing. Everything I'm saying is alleged, okay? Okay. But I did promise you all once I did get the uh, leaked voicemails and the leaked audio that I would post it. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, let's be clear. He's not saying that this is his mistress or another woman. He is just simply speaking, saying things that he has done, sown seeds, given out resources. So that could have been for anybody. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. I'm just trying to make sure. Let me get this straight. I'm being ignored by someone who I have fought to sow seeds into get resources to I'm in your city and I can't get a call back. I just wanted to make sure I got my facts straight. Got it. Can you get this message deleted? My wife saw our text messages from Friday. She knows you were in the same hotel as me and she does not know. Now again, let's be clear. All of this is alleged because I have not heard him say anything about his mistress or a mistress. I have not even heard him say that this audio that was leaked was for a woman or a mistress. I'm just saying it was leaked and I'm just, just doing what I'm doing. And that's my job by leaking it out to you all. But I do like this right here with John Gray. I want all of y'all to know, all of y'all, from the front door to the pulpit, this is what he want all of y'all to know. For the favor of my life, I didn't choose me, I didn't call me, I didn't raise me, I didn't anoint me. God did it. If you don't like me, take it up with God. Y'all heard him. He said, take it up with God. Because I didn't choose me, I didn't anoint me. Woo! I almost felt that thing, Pastor Gray. Almost like I was sitting right there in that church service on the front row. And y'all see how he just smoothly dropped the mic or his handkerchief, whatever it was. 
He said, take it up with God. And that's what we have to do. Take things up with God that we don't understand. And again, thank you all for tuning in with another week of some celebrity gossip with your girl Shay, a.k.a. your Christian diva, right here on UHN TV 43.5 Urban Houston Network. Until next week, keep those big ears to the street. Okay. <laughs>